Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto, where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest. And today we are taking a look at BTC20, right? It's been a couple of days ever since I've done an update on this one. So today we are, we've got our investigative heads on and we are trying to see exactly what is going on with this particular scam, BTC20, right? And yes, I'm still calling this one a scam. So now that it has launched, right, staking was opened up on the 9th and claim was opened up on the 10th, which is yesterday, right? And it's actually quite interesting. Why did they enable a stake before claim, right? And I believe the reason for that is to stabilize the price, right? They're trying to stabilize the price of the token because of the whole bunch of videos that we have done. It was going to be super embarrassing for the price to just dump, right? right from the first day right so we're going to be looking at a lot of metrics into this one that we're going to start to track from today because remember with scams right now they've become so sophisticated so this pre especially this pre-sales because these are professionals you can see how they've done everything everything is quite professional into this one right so let's now jump in to the data right so we can see now we've got a chart that we can take a look at right we've got a contract absolutely awesome because now we can start to take a look at some of the most important metrics so to just take stock of what has happened so far right let's take a look at what is most important what we are taking a look at so pre-sale the pre-sale was six million right was six million Dollars. That's what they said on their website because it's very important when you're dealing with these guys to keep uh, everything that they're saying, right, to hold them account to everything. That's how you are going to be able to, to see exactly what is going on. So the pre-sale was six million. That's how much investors invest, investors invested into this, right, into the pre-sale. And the latest claims that I've heard is that uh, about two million has been staked so far, right? About 2 million has been staked. So let's just reduce this, right? So that we can just represent the size. So stake. So obviously the 2 million is obviously coming from the people we have staked are the, the, are the people who actually staking from the pre-sale, right? From the 9th because the staking was actually enabled right on the ninth before the claim right and now what is interesting which is the huge red flag is actually is actually the the liquidity available right on the dex uniswap right that is what is actually quite interesting so let's just go on to the dex we see currently only a hundred and fifty thousand of liquidity is, is available right there right only 150,000 right so these are important figures for us to keep track of the pre-sale was 6 million staking was 2 million but the liquidity is only about 150,000 because this 2 million right if we just take this right here it means what is available for claim is uh, around 4 million right of course, these are just round figures, plus minus, because more people will be staking and all that. We don't really care about that. So we've got this pool of 4 million right here, right? Where people now, those who didn't stake, they are claiming. But those who are actually going onto the Uniswap decks to actually trade, buy, and sell, which is what people in crypto do, right? After they buy onto the pre-sale, they straight up going to be going onto the decks and trading their tokens, buying and selling, that's what people do. Of course, we're going to have other in, uh, investors who bought in the pre-sale. They're just going to leave their tokens in their wallet, right? Because, of course, they're just taking a look at the price, what is going on and all of that. But you're going to have a huge number of people who are going to participate in the LP. But now the huge red flag is that only 150,000. It doesn't make any sense at all. We should be seeing close to like 500,000 to a million, Right? At least at the at the first in the first twenty four hours, but now we only see only a hundred and hundred fifty thousand. That's it. 
that's all that we see right and also if we just go here and we check the holders right we do see here that we've got about 18 million uh, into this address right the top 10 holders into this address everybody else is holding uh, everybody else is in this 4.72 percent which correlates with actually what we see here onto go plus labs right so we see token holders about 2800 token holders top 10 holding 95 percent right uh, all that correlates right token holders 2800 and another tip is whenever you are uh, trying to evaluate the token holders, always check the number of the people. For example, in the Telegram group, you've got about 5,000 people. And then on Twitter, for BTC20, you've got about 4,800, right? We had the whole drama of um, suspend, unsuspend, right? We're also tracking XRP20 as well, currently about 700 followers there. So you do see that uh, the numbers are correlating in terms of the number of investors who are there. But... The huge red flag is this LP is very low for what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be at least around a million or 500,000 at the very least, right? 500,000 uh, US dollars upwards to a million, right? Because a whole pe bunch of people are going to be claiming because in the pre-sale, we actually had 6 million bought, 2 million staked, right? And people, uh, about 4 million available to be claimed. And those who are only trading, it's only about... Uh, the liquidity available is 150,000. That's very suspicious, right? So that's data that we are going to build upon. So uh, if you've watched all the way until now, let us know what is your experience. Are you able to stake, right? Are you able to stake? And also, the other thing that I have seen that usually okay with these projects is the issue of blacklisting wallets. Some wallets uh, which actually bought on the pre-sale will not be able to claim, right? And so because we've got this giant bucket right here of six uh, million, right? They make it in such a way that um, they make it in such a way that only maybe let's just uh, speculate here, only maybe about two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand are able to actually claim. Right, which actually will cover a huge number of people, the people who have actually claimed lower values, and the people with the larger investments will not be able to claim. Right, so when you go into the Telegram group, you go everywhere, everybody is happy, like I was able to, to, to claim my tokens, nothing is wrong, but there are a whole bunch of wallets that have been blacklisted, right, from being able to claim. So you can't claim. And by the way, when you can't claim, just ensure that it's not a technical issue, clear your cookies disconnect clear cookies reconnect try to claim and if you're worried about some of the hacks that we have seen with some other pre-sales where your wallet just gets drained right uh if you're buying into pre-sales it can be a little bit complicated especially if you've got other pre-sales in your token that haven't actually launched and you haven't claimed right uh, me personally i would suggest for anyone me personally i'll never buy in a pre-sale right but if you've got buying into a pre-sale I would use a brand new wallet if I was to do it. Brand new wallet, I go, I buy my tokens, uh, I go and purchase my tokens in the pre-sale, and then you can use that wallet to claim. I don't have my other tokens onto that same wallet, right? Because we've seen some hacks where wallets get hacked and all of that, right? I don't think that will happen with this one, but you need to be ex extremely, extremely careful, right? That's one thing. So that's one thing that I have seen in many projects because remember, you might have... Uh, a lot of people who buy right into the pre-sale large sums. I've seen some of my subscribers on the channel bought into some of the scams that I covered about two years ago. They bought about 138,000 US dollars right into a project that is one week old, right? 138,000 US dollars and the project was rugged, right? So people do buy large sums into some of these projects, right? The, these projects are designed to entice uh, investors to invest into them, they, especially the stories that they sell. For example, if you look at XRP, right? This is actually quite a surprising um, uh, project, right? Uh, a pre-sale, another scam, right? XRP, because they are saying it's not XRP, but they are leveraging XRP all over the place, right? Uh, I'm going to do a separate video for this one, right, that is dedicated to this one. But now we're just looking at the BTC20, right? So these are very important figures for us to keep track of. Right now, this is a huge, massive red flag, 
right? This is a huge, massive red flag that we are going to keep track of, right? This one. We're going to keep on track of this one, right? Because it's a huge red flag. The, the liquidity that is available is very low, very, very low compared to the 6 million that was actually put in the pre-sale. And scams take time to develop, especially now. Uh, with the, uh, with, they are so sophisticated. But it's quite simple, really, because all the data is out there and we've been tracking this from the beginning. So this is just an update, right? Let me know down there in the comment, were you able to claim, right? Were you able to claim? How much did you buy? Were you able to claim? Because if also just jump here on Dex2s, uh, we do. And the other thing I wanted to highlight is the liquidity that is actually logged is not sufficient, right? And also this contract is similar to other contracts such as Wall Street memes. I did do a video about this one, right? About 16 days uh, deployed, right? Wall Street memes is one of the contracts, right? That uh, the projects rather than the pre-sale, it's actually still in a pre-sale. They're trying to raise 23 million US dollars, right? Are they the same people? We just wait, to, we just have to wait and see exactly how things are developing. But the liquidity that is logged for BTC20 is not sufficient, right? So there's still a huge, um, uh, a huge, um, uh, this is a significant, uh, 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 what is this risk for a rug pull, right? For this one, because you see, not enough liquidity is secured for the minimum duration, which could allow for significant amounts to be removed, right? Rug pull. So, be extremely careful for this one, right? Be extremely careful for this one. But this one, we're going to keep tracking it. The current price is there at uh, fluctuating. I think the lowest that it went to was around 0.78 cents. 78 cents, right? So it should definitely not go anything lower, be anything lower than uh, 0 0.70 cents because everybody bought it around, everybody bought it around um, uh, one dollar, right? One dollar. And basically everybody, so there's no reason why it should go below, even below like eight eighty cents around there it should stay around that price point because not a whole lot of buys have been done because i've tried to also just check uh, immediately when trade was opened up right here on uh, uniswap exactly what was occurring and you do see here the amounts right the amounts of uh that were being traded here right you see twenty five thousand right, was the biggest amount that we saw being, uh, it was a sell immediately when trading was open, somebody sold for 25,000, right, who was that, we just don't know, and also 20,000 here, 18,000, and then there were a whole bunch of suspicious sales, uh, buys, was it, were they buys, right here, we have a whole bunch of suspicious buys, right, all of them are buying at the same price point, almost, right uh, that was occurring so there's a whole lot of stuff that is happening with this one we are going to keep tracking it we're going to see exactly how everything is going on also contract is renounced right that's what has been done but remember this was actually a pre-sale so when the money was in this bucket nobody knows what was going on right only now when you actually claim your tokens and you've got uh, you're now invested into crypto when you bought in the pre-sale you're not actually invested into a crypto the money is going into this one bucket the six million right and also there is a, a staking contract i haven't been able to see that right it would be interesting to see uh, that one uh, the staking contract as well because if you look at the top 10 holders we see we've got the 18 million coins uh, tokens right there the 1.2 million tokens right there, and we've got a few other tokens all the way up to there, right? That's what we do see everybody else holding the 4% down here, right? So we're going to be tracking this one. This is this one is a case study for, case study for us. We're going to keep tracking it to see exactly uh, what is going on. That 6 million invested in the pre-sale, right? It's very interesting, right? So if you, how much did you invest into this? You can let me know down in the comment section. Right. Uh, we also want to figure out exactly this six million. Was it actually six million invested right into this one? I suspect this is not true. Right. But we are going to keep tracking it. So uh, this is my update for this one. Let me know what you think down there in the, in the description. So thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.